304 grams. Got a bit of a wind cap melted on there. Okay, it's five o'clock on the dot. Everything's in place. Okay, Najee, we're about 16 minutes in, and I'm already seeing a molten pool of metal at the bottom of the crucible. I'm going to go ahead and try a dump and see if the entire crucible has been liquefied. Okay, here we go. Oh, crap. Crucible broke. Damn it. That is a hot son of a gun right there, fellas. This crucible is done for. I think that's all the metal right there. Wonder if I should throw some water on that. <clears throat> okay, that was about 16 minutes, guys. That's how much fuel we used. That looks like one and a half liters of extremely filthy, dirty waste oil. Let's go clean this ingot up. Okay, Najee, I have a theory. This may be common knowledge in the chemistry community. I believe that the melting point of alloys can reduce the melting point of the higher melting point metals in that alloy. For instance, I believe this ingot has platinum in it. But the only reason we were able to melt that platinum is because the liquid metal that was able to achieve melting point has actually dissolved the platinum. Similar to an amalgam or the way water would dissolve salt. It doesn't melt the salt per se, but it dissolves it. So if you're familiar with this concept and you can corroborate that information and you're watching that video, please drop us a comment down below. So here it is, Najee. What was that, 310 grams we had? I'll put the number up right here. Out of that 310 grams, we got ourselves a very nice ingot. Wow, it's almost 50% metal, guys. That's impressive. Okay, and the control test, we only got 16% yield. Najee, I'd say we're headed down the right path, brother, and I'd like to point out that the fuel used in this test is the coldest burning fuel available, which is extremely dirty waste oil. Now, dirty waste oil, or any waste oil for that matter, does have a higher caloric value, which means you can heat up a larger volume to a, a particular temperature, but the max temperature of that fuel is down here underneath other fuels. So, though it has more caloric power per unit volume, it does not have the highest melting point. In fact, it's about, I think it was 200 degrees colder in most cases. So if we find ourselves in a situation where we get some powder that won't melt, that's a little bit more stubborn than what we just saw, we do have another 250 some degrees to work with.